Hello everyone, I'm Nicholas, and in this episode of Production Bot 101, we are going over the I.O. that Production Bots have. Now, for those of you that don't know what I.O. means, it simply refers to the inputs and outputs that these computers have, and boy, there are a lot. So, first we'll start on the motherboard side, right over here. So, on the top, you'll see that we have the capture card. Uh, for this one, this is a Corvid 88, because this is a Switch 8. If you have a Switch 4, you would have a Corbin 44 and you would only have uh, four BNC on this side. Uh, then below that, we have the graphics card. And so here we have one HDMI port that's available and we have two display ports that are also able to be used for connecting monitors too. So this is where you would really connect your external monitors so you can add up to three others, including the one that's on here. So that would give you four total monitors. That's where you'd connect them. When you first buy the production bot, there will actually be a plate that'll be covering this. So you'll have to loosen the screw. That's right over here, kind of towards the back. And then you'll be able to get that off and then you can take the plate off of the hinge here. And then that will give you access to the graphics card. And you'll also have access to the capture card, but mostly the graphics card is what people need to connect to. Then if we go below that, we then have our audio outputs right here. There's six total. Uh, but the main one that we actually care about is the top center one. It's red and it's raised a little bit. That's what you use for connecting uh, external headphones, speakers, th things like that. We use it for uh, headphones. It'll be for how we monitor vMix. Then if we go below that, we have the Wi-Fi antennas in case you need to use Wi-Fi and you don't have access to uh, Ethernet, but if you do have access to Ethernet, then we have the actual Ethernet port right below that, as well as two USB ports. Uh, then right below that, we have uh, another USB port as well as a USB-C port uh, if you need to connect anything with that. And then below that, we actually have the onboard uh, display port and onboard uh, HDMI port. Now, these won't work if you just try and connect something to it, expecting to use it as a second or third monitor. Uh, you have to connect it up here. Uh, you can use this, but you have to go into the BIOS to configure that. Um, it's a bit of work for that. Uh, then below that, we actually have two more USB ports, and then we have the an old keyboard, an old mouse, kind of the older connectors for those down here. And then also right at the bottom, we have our power uh, spot for the power cable. So now if we flip it around to the other side, this, it's kind of the big production side. So this is where your actual connectors for your uh, SDI will be. So again, this is a Switch 8, so we have eight of them here, but if we had a Switch 4, then the, there would only be four here. And these are bi-directional BNC connectors. So you can either send a video into it or out of it. What we will use this for is we'll have six inputs and two outputs. That's because the vMix is limited to only two external outputs. So that's why we do it that way, six in, two out, nice and easy, or two in, two out, if you have a Switch 4. Then uh, right here, we have two XLR inputs. These are left and right channels, respectively. Uh, if you need to have one channel for both, there's ways that you can do that in vMix that we'll show you in a later video. But just so you know, this is left and right. And then also for these audio outputs, these are also left and right channels. Uh, we also have hot swap SSD bays here, so you can really expand your storage in here with adding multiple SSDs. And we also have one more USB port that I like to use for plugging in a thumb drive, transferring files, doing whatever we need to for that. That's a little bit about the production bot IO. Hopefully you learned a bit about this, especially uh, mod with adding external monitors, having knowing where you connect your cables, things like that. Hopefully you learned about that and that'll help you with setting this up and getting to know this. See you in the next video.